Are you searching for answers? Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World. Well, my name is Allison Kennard, and I was formerly raised in the Baptist church. My grandfather was a Baptist minister, and I came from a very, very religious family. And I was on my way to graduate. I met my husband. My husband and I, we ended up getting married after I graduated a, a year or two after. And um, there was a time where the Lord says, okay, now it's time to become teachers. So then we were afforded the opportunity to become teachers um, at a Church of God in Christ in Compton, California. And, um, and we had a class called uh, World Religions. And so during this class, we began to study about various religions throughout the world. We began to study uh, Islam. Buddhism, Hinduism, all the world religions that we know as of today. And in this class, we had students who said, um, can you tell me, um, are Catholics Christians? And so at this particular time, my husband and I, we, we, you know, I knew I couldn't say they weren't because I went to a Jesuit university. But at this time, it just kind of put in the back of our mind and said, well, yeah, you know, I think they are, but but we don't really know about the, the Pope and the praying to the saints and our Blessed Mother. And so with this, this was a seed that was sown in our heart. And we said, oh, we need to study. But we kind of shoved it to the back. Then my husband and I, after we were stationed in um, Southern California for eight years, we had orders to move to Guam. And moving into Guam, Guam being 95% Catholic, we went into the island, and Guam, the church that we went to on the South Pacific, um, South Philippine Sea, was the church of, it was Assemblies of God's Church. There we go again. We were acknowledged by the pastor, can you please lead a Bible study? Can you please um, lead it in your house, lead it in the church? And so my husband and I, we decided to do it. So there was one particular Bible studies that said, the class was called Certainty. And most of the parishioners and most of the members of this church, they were ex-Catholic, as I said before. And the parishioners, they said, we want to know our Catholics Christian without a shadow of a doubt. Certainty, give us certainty. And the reason why we want to know is because most of our family members are in the Catholic Church. And so with this right there, I, my husband and I, we said, you know what? We cannot say affirmatively that Catholics are not Christians. So with that, once again, three years, four years later, I was confronted with this, our Catholics Christians. And so with that, my husband and I, we said, you know what? We have to go back when we get back to the mainland and we have to study Catholicism. And so once we moved back to California, went to San Diego, and then my husband was stationed on a ship. Once he got on the ship, he was approached by a Catholic on the ship. And he was kind of teasing him and joking, saying, oh, you Catholics, oh, you guys don't have the word, you don't know the word. And then the the um, other gentleman, he told my husband, he says, you know what, I want you to meet someone. And I want you to meet a man who's going to really tell you about our Catholic faith. And he's an historian, he's an apologist. And when he introduced my husband to him, my husband was immediately uh, enthralled with him because this gentleman was able to help my husband understand from a historical point of view, the Catholic Church. So meanwhile, I was at home raising the children and my husband was out to sea learning a lot about the Catholic faith. And he was corresponding with me, sending me letters back and forth, emails. And um, of course, the emails wasn't that big at the time, but the few emails that he could send, he was able to share with me the belief of the Catholic Church. And in a nutshell, to make a long story short, 
we came to the conclusion through our four years of studying that the Catholic Church is the church that has been around for 2,000 years. Through my knowledge and through our studies and through the leading of the Holy Spirit, we discovered that when Jesus says, take, eat, this is my body, take, drink, this is my blood, Jesus meant this is his real flesh, this is his real blood, this is his real body. This is the blood that he suffered for us for the remission of sins. When I became Catholic, when my family became Catholic, my children, we realized in taking the body and the blood of Jesus that this was the true blood. This is the true body of Christ. media a lot in evangelization, so I believe in the importance of Catholic radio, Catholic TV, Catholics using the new media. Can I encourage everyone to watch Shalom TV? I think it's a great vehicle of evangelization. And God bless all of you.